A portion of the 1994 Winter Olympic Games and the unmistakable architecture of the Viking ship. Site of one of the fastest 400 meter speed skating ovals in the world. Welcome to the World Single Distance Championships. Gold, silver, and bronze at each of the traditional speed skating distances here at Hamar. We'll begin with the women's 500 meters. Our first pair, Sabine Volker of Russia and Chris Witte of the United States, the newly crowned world sprint champion among women. This is the second of two heats of the 500 meters, a precursor of what we will see in Olympic competition at Nagano, Japan in 1998. And the reason they're doing this is because the skater that starts on the inner lane and finishes on the outer lane has the advantage because when you're on the inner lane, it's tough to finish because you can't negotiate the turn as well. So they flip-flop to level the playing field for both skaters. So there will be two heats of each 500. The results to be determined on cumulative time. Both of these skaters well back after the first race. They will need superlative times here to have any shot at a medal over 500 meters. 40.24 for Sabine Volker. That moves her into the provisional lead. Chris Witte in second. And now to our next pair, Katriona Ann LeMay of Canada and Kyoko Shimazaki of Japan. Shimazaki and LeMay third and fourth after the first 500 meter heat. Now they start in opposite lanes as we mentioned earlier. Into the tents at the 100 meter split. Fast. Japanese with a slight advantage coming off the inner lane. Now she switches to the outer. Once again, she extends her lead. You can really see how on the outer lane you can just pop right out of that turn. To the line they come. 39.57 for Shimazaki. She takes over the provisional lead on the basis of cumulative times over the two heats. And somewhat overwhelmed, a high five for her coach. To our next pair. The two fastest skaters of the first heat, Svetlana Zurova of Russia and Tomomi Okazaki of Japan. For the championship, Zurova will skate 10.42 at the 100 meter. Switch lanes. Now Zurova's gonna have to stay Tight in the inner turn. Very strong turn. Slight advantage for the Russian as they head for the line. This is for the title if the Russian wins. And she does, 39.57 for Zarova. She wins the ladies 500 meters. 39.75 for Okazaki, good enough for second place. moment there when I saw that reddish ponytail I thought I was looking at Christine Witte again in the 500 meter you've just got to keep driving at home forget the finish line you've got to skate past that in order to keep the momentum moving and she does just that congratulations to Svetlana Zurova of Russia winner of the ladies 500 meters will be one heat per distance from here on out to determine gold silver and bronze stay with us Distance Speed Skating Championships in Hamar, Norway. Bob Varsha and Peter Carruthers with you. A good crowd on hand, ready for the ladies' 1,000 meters. I said they were a good crowd. I didn't say they were well-dressed. <laughs> there is Anna Marie Thomas, who has had a spectacular season to date, and it has been a long season for the Dutch skater. She'll be going up against Maura D'Andrea of the U.S. skating team. Ready? for a fast 200 meter Anna Marie Thomas skating well out of the first turn at 200 meters Thomas 18.70 seconds 19.15 for Maura D'Andrea coaches 
Thomas flashing splits and encouragement. Thomas with the lead, glancing up at the corner. Once again, another strong contingent of Dutch fans supporting their team. Thomas with a very good straightforward motion, trying to keep down the lateral movement. Even on time for that 400 meter split. Now DeAndrea coming off the inner lane will take the outer. Thomas knowing that she's on a good thousand meter. Time to beat in the upper left hand corner. Here comes Thomas. Giving it all she has, dropping at the end. 121-01 and into the lead goes Anna Marie Thomas. Mara D'Andrea into third place. <laughs> On to our next pair. There is Franziska Schenk of Germany. She will skate against Shiho Kusanose of Japan. Sprint off the line, but then settling into a much more relaxed pace. Two and a half laps of the 400 meter oval. The Germans have had an excellent winter behind Gunda Niemann and Claudia Pechstein. Schenk at 18.43. Remember, Thomas was at 18.70, so she started off fast. to this point shank going to both arms now then tucking the left behind her to keep streamlined and save energy staying relaxed that is so important oh she slipped she's out of it oh too much shank came through at better than 30 seconds for that last 400 meters and then simply lost control going into the turn i don't think there was inter any interference or any fouls but she has completely lost her motion. Too much time lost. What a disappointment. Kuzanose to the line into eighth place at 122.01. And a distraught Franziska Schenk, who saw it all go away. That was a big slip around this corner. It's hard to say if it was a skate or just a little bit too much rotation of the shoulders going around the corner. To our next pair. Chris Whitty of the United States in blue to the right of your screen on the inside and Edel Teresa Oiseth of Norway to the outside. Lights out in order to overtake Anna Marie Thomas. Look for the 200 meter split. Thomas was at 18.70. Boiseth in red with the faster case. Oh 18.69. Chris Whitty is under. It's close at this point. From West Dallas, Wisconsin, home of the U.S. speed skating team on the Wisconsin State Fairgrounds just outside of Milwaukee. The reigning world sprint champion, newly crowned for 1996, Chris Whitty with one lap to go. 29.7, that last 400 meters, that is quick. Trying to chase it down. Drafting nicely, taking every advantage you can get to cut down on wind resistance. Into the final turn, there's the time to beat. Witty, the final strokes to the line. No, she comes up just short. And 
there is Anna Marie Thomas, who wins the 1,000 meters by the narrowest of margins, much to the delight of the Dutch fans in this crowd. You just have to sit by and watch the clock. Joy for Thomas, frustration for Whitty, who came so close, 24 one hundredths of a second out. The silver medal is hers. Emi Sinyadi of Austria, originally from Hungary, finishes third. In the ladies' 1,500 meters, Thomas came back to score the victory there as well. Now on to the ladies' 3,000 meters. Now here is a matchup made in heaven if you're a fan of the German team. Claudia Pechstein and Gunther Niemann. Gunda Neiman, European champion, world champion. And there is just no mistaking Gunda Neiman's style. She has so much power that she's able to plow through any kind of bad technique that she might have because she is so strong. Eckstein, the Olympic gold medalist at 5,000 meters in 1994 in this building Going up against Neiman, five-time world champion, seven-time European champion. Neiman, 31-5 for that last lap. Now we'll pick up the action late in the race and the strain beginning to show on Gunda Neiman's face after a long season and so much achievement. Gold medals at the European and world levels and as you can see, she has disposed completely of her countrywoman and rival, Pechstein. But she looks good at this point. Staying with her technique all the way through that is not bad. 4-13-83, and with that, Gunda Neiman picks up yet another gold medal in 1996 in the ladies' 3,000 meters. Here are the final results. Promising German junior Anna Friesinger finished fourth, and Kirsten Holum, daughter of the legendary Diane Holum of the United States, in 15th. Claudia Pechstein came back to win the ladies' 5,000 meters. We'll be back. Hey, what do you know? The guy had some luck with his pocket fisherman. I wonder if that was staged. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm sure there wasn't. <laughs> Back inside the Viking ship, the Norwegian fans in full voice as we get set for the men's 500 meters. The second of two races, our first pair, Yasunori Miyabi of Japan and Roger Strom from Norway, who lives right here in Hamar. What a place to be to have that audience push you across the finish line, the 100 meter split, 9-6-7 for, for Miyabi. Make for an interesting crossover now. Miyabi from behind will take the inner line and see what he can do with it. And Strom will just shoot out of this outer corner right here and drive to the finish. Listen to that crowd it's cheering close. the hometown kid on. He got 26, it. 26, 23 to 36, 31, and this place is Bedlam. Does he remind you of Koss or what? Actually, reminds me of Haas but also of Koss. Johan Olaf Koss, of course, the Norwegian legend, triple gold medalist, right here in this building at the 94 Olympics. Now our next pair, Jagel Sungyol of Korea and Sergei Klevchenya of Russia. Sergei, the expert, he is the world sprint champion. Taking the inner lane first. A good pair of 100 meter splits. Smooth. Levchenya will just fire out of this outer turn. Great stride. Going to be close at the line, but now the Russian pulls away 36.08 to 36.55. That moves Sergei Klevchenya into the current lead. Another pair of Japanese skaters in this, the second 500-meter race of two. The winner determined on cumulative time. 
Manabu Hori of Japan against countryman Hiroyasu Shimizu. And am I getting familiar with his unbelievable strength? Remember, he's the world record holder. That is phenomenal. I've never seen a skater skate so low to the ice. Look at the power in those thighs. Laid back for optimum speed. Down the stretch he comes. His world record is 35.39. He won't get that, but 36.15 moves him into second place in this race, and the combined times give him the overall victory. Shimizu over Klevchenya and Roger Strong. In the men's 1,000 meters, Sergei Klevchenya came back to win over 1,500 meters. Jeroen Strathoff of the Netherlands. Your winner will be right back. Hamar, Norway, and the World Single Distance Speed Skating Championships. Let's take up the men's 5,000 meters now. Frank Dietrich of Germany against Eids Postma of the Netherlands. Postma getting off to a very good start, establishing a nice rhythm. Smooth, long strokes, no jerky motion in the upper body. Postma finished second to countryman Rentje Rietzma in the European Championships and did so again in the World Championships. Now late in the race, the time to beat in the upper left-hand corner. Here comes Eitz Postma, just 23 years of age. His gold medal days are still ahead of him. To the finish at 6.47.09, he picks up a gold in this single distance championship at 5,000 meters. And then the upset of these single distance world championships when Rinji Ritzma, European champion, world champion, skated against his countryman Gianni Rome at 10,000 meters. Into the closing laps. Ritzma a half a lap behind as Gianni Rome pulls off a staggering upset. There is Ritzma's split time. He is nearly a full lap behind Rome, skating to the finish and vaulting himself up at to the top level of worldwide speed skaters with this huge upset. That it is. No one would have expected going into this race that Rome would win. Certainly a happy man, a salute from one of the Dutch coaches. Boy, the Dutch just keep coming at you. And so the World Single Event Speed Skating Championships go into the history books. We hope you've enjoyed it. I'm Bob Barsha for Peter Carruthers. Thanks for being with us. So long, everyone.